Hello and welcome to the Critic Hercules. I'm the Monk, and today we're in Empire of Sin, trying to get an achievement, or me trying to give you tips on how to get an achievement called Lone Wolf. It is possibly most definitely the hardest achievement to actually get within this game um, and I'm hopefully going to give you a load of tips to uh, make it easier for you to actually obtain. Now I'm sure it's no surprise to you but I went with Daniel Jackson as my um, my hero, my boss. Uh, I think he is the most overpowered thing within this game. We have only gone for three neighbourhoods. We've gone all the way down for six enemy bosses and we've got this on the easiest difficulty. Um, but I can tell you right now that it does not mean that this is actually an easy achievement to get. Tip number one, I would strongly recommend loot. Loot as much as you can, loot as many boxes as you can. Yes, me only having three neighbourhoods means I've got less area to loot. So kind of made it hard for myself there a little bit. Um, but my basic idea here is to get the best amount of weapons you can. And of course, look, you know, you're really looking for armour. Um, you know, you want as much armour as you can as well. Also, you need to level up. This is a big grind. This isn't something you can just straight boosh do. You are on your own. Uh, Lone Wolf basically means you can't hire any gangsters. No one at all. Nothing whatsoever. Um, there are a lot of good gangsters in this game. And some people run with up to 10 guns with them. So you going in on your jack, it's going to be a hard slog. But what you're going to need is some good armor, some good weapons, and a lot of time actually within the game. Leveling up. Now, obviously, it's it's not really leveling up, but it's kind of like as time ticks by, you'll unlock new, new perks and new slots. Uh, now, to get him or to get Daniel Jackson completely maxed out, it's going to take a lot of days within this game. So while you're doing that, it's a really good idea to make connections. We've gone over this before about, you know, not pissing off every single boss for absolutely no reason. You know, if you get offered a sit down, go to the sit down. If you get offered a deal, go to the deal. Make this game as easy for yourself as possible um, because you are going to need the help. You know, remember, you are one guy taking on the entire city and these bosses, you know, they can have up to nine to ten people with them when you attack the safe house. They're all kitted out. You know, sometimes they use explosives, sometimes they don't. I think on the lesser difficulties, which is where I am, uh, they use uh, dynamite or explosives a lot less. However, they do still use it. Now, as you can see, I managed to get uh, the special little uh, thing that boosts up my relationship with the cops. So it means that it was a lot cheaper for me to actually become a deputy. And of course, that opened up an extra shop for me. Now, becoming a deputy within this playthrough, I would highly recommend. I would get protection from them. Um, and I would also look for that extra armor. Now, don't forget, you can also trade with the other bosses as well. They normally have a lot of good things on them. I'm talking about meds here specifically i would get all the explosives you can off them as well um, because some people like using them and personally i think that they can come in handy but also they have some very good guns and of course if you get their unique gun off them that means they can't use it on you which of course is really helpful now this bad boy are painkillers Check both your shops regularly for painkillers. They're absolutely amazing. Basically, bottom line is you take them and for one turn only, you take no damage. That's zero damage. It only costs one AP, so you can, you know, use it and then shoot. It's very, very good. As you can see, I only have the six box bosses. It's me against the six. So slowly start working your way through them. One thing you can do, however, is get friendly with one of the other bosses and get them to try and assassinate someone for you. Now, admittedly, you could get them to assassinate every single boss in a game, barring them. But, you know, the assassination attempt seems to have got nerfed a little bit, maybe. You know, they don't seem to be as successful as they used to. But every now and again, boom, they do work. You can get the assassinations that way. And uh, it is, you know, a good method for ticking off those bosses. Don't forget, we are just after the achievement and trying to make it as easy as possible. Again, I mention armor a lot. But I would have multiple sets because as you go into fights, armor gets damaged. Therefore, it becomes useless. It's going to need to be traded out. So collect. 
Now the other thing we're doing while we're trying to let these days tick by so we can unlock new perks is leveling up one, our rifle, but two, a notoriety. The higher notoriety we have, the more health we will get. I would recommend going for at least 500 um, notoriety. Uh, this will get you the 200 health. It's an extra 50. It's a real, real lifesaver. Uh, that extra 50 in these kind of uh, battles that are coming up is really going to help. Okay, so onto the perks we've actually leveled up. On the rifle, we have got... In cold blood, 50% chance uh, to refund one AP after killing an enemy with a rifle. This is massive. Wing clip, 20% chance to inflict slow. Puncture hide, 50% chance to inflict one armor damage. Again, that's really good. And uh, Huntsman is also pretty good too. Onto the perks that we're leveling up. This is the tree that I've got. Um, Obviously, kill chain is the most important here. Fire shot at an enemy. If the target is killed, it gives you one AP back. Of course, when you put that on with rifles as well, that means that you get another shot. Uh, not only do you get another shot, but of course, we've also got that extra chance of getting one AP. It's really good. I love um, also having return fire with a good pistol. This is invaluable. And of course, the heals is a great one as well. You can never have enough healing mechanics within the game. Lightfoot is really the only choice there. Um, and of course, it stops overwatch shots from you know detecting you moving. So that's also really good. And of course, the whole reason why we've got uh, Jackson is because of last rights. And that's the perks, guys. So what I have done is I'm showing you the very last fight uh, in the game, you know, from, from start to finish. I figured you didn't really want to be bored with all of the footage, you know, from every single fight. I could have done a playthrough, but honestly, this actually took me a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, I tried it at a lower, sorry, should I say earlier in the game, I had a lot less health and uh, I struggled with the bosses a lot. I do honestly recommend you grinding out um, your, your, your levels and putting that health up because obviously... The, I believe it's every 50 notoriety that you earn, you will get five health. Now that's guaranteed. There's other things that you get there, which is also really, really helpful. Uh, I believe the extra percentage chance on marksmen, for instance, and using rifles and stuff like that, that's really helpful. Um, but really it's that health that you want, because like I said, I'm going into these battles with an extra 50 health than I would have if I started the game. And that's really, really helpful because that's a massive difference. That's probably two shots from another, you know, from two other people. Um, now, like I said, I carry the um, the painkillers, which are really good as well. Um, but I think the way this character is set up, the combination use between last rights and of course kill chain, it is very, very overpowered and it really helps a lot. I seem to find that return fire also crops up a lot more than you expected it to. Um, now it only triggers once per round, but that once per round is sometimes the difference between your kill chain working. You know, your return fire on a decent pistol, get his health down just enough, whereas then you can use kill shot on, on your next turn and actually be able to kill him. And of course, again, I, I do find having those extra heals. Um, 60 HP that you can heal yourself with the heal perk. Um, that's also very, very important to use, I feel. And that's it, guys. That is all my tips for getting this, this achievement. So let me know if you've managed to get this achievement. Let me know if this video has helped you or if after watching this video, you're actually going to attempt to get this achievement for yourselves. Like I said, I've had a look through all the achievements. I haven't got them all just yet. There's a couple of bosses that I haven't actually completed the game with. Um, and But that's that's really it. You know, I, I don't have many achievements to get. This was the hardest achievement to get by far. Um, so let me know if you managed to get it and let me know if you managed to get it with a different boss because honestly after playing this playthrough even on the easiest difficulty now honestly i don't see too much of a difference between the easiest difficulty 
and um, the hardest difficulty. I don't think in aggression there's any difference anyway. I think the main difference is the fact that in hard difficulty, your opponents are more likely to use explosives. I got really lucky in this playthrough. I only ever had maybe two, three grenades thrown on me at all. Obviously wrecked my armor. Um, but this is why I do say keep a stash of armor. As I was the only person in my gang, you know, I was able to have a lot of armor without actually doing much looting at all, which was really, really nice. Um, but anyway, guys, I'm, I'm just waffling on now. Um, let me know if you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you've learned anything and let me know if it has helped you at all. I have been the monk. We've been equitably clueless. Please do me a massive favor. Hit that like button. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, please, please do so. We appreciate all the support so much. Um, honestly, it means so much to us to have you guys, you know, constantly subscribing and commenting and, and liking the videos. And of course, all the views as well. It's been really nice. But guys, this video has been long enough already and unfortunately just under 11 minutes is the shortest. I could really make this video to kind of give you the full picture uh, of this achievement. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one.